Hello and welcome back to another look at my XNA game in progress. Last time uh, I was showing off the character and how he moves around the world. And I think I ended by saying it was time to give him some interaction with his world. So that's exactly what I've been working on. Uh, a couple of uh, menu driven interfaces, at least uh, the start of them, ha have been added to the game. Um, the first one is a use menu, so I can walk up to an object in the world and use it by pressing the X button on my controller. But, um, so if I walk up to the tree and I hit X, it gives me some sort of context sensitive uh, use actions on that tree. I can cancel that. They don't actually do anything. They're just uh, registered with the system and being displayed right now. I can walk up to a rock. I can do something with that rock. Or I can walk over to just the tile type, in this case sand, and I can do the very interesting gather sand. Now the other thing I've implemented is an inventory system. So if I hit what would be the back button on the Xbox controller, it actually pulls up an inventory. Now I've just uh, sort of auto-populated some inventory items when the game starts up and I don't have any art for the icons yet, I just have that placeholder item icon. Uh, but you can definitely see that the player has four different types of items at various quantities. And if I hit B, then it cancels that and I'm back in the game. So uh, the idea is that the player will be able to take these items and combine them in sort of a crafting method to create things, use them in the world. Uh, the game is going to be very creation centric. Um, obviously he has a sword, so he's going to be killing things. This is a video game after all. There has to be killing, right? So uh, it'll be a little bit of a mix of, of both, and uh, hopefully some, some ingenious uh, traps and items that our player can make out of the world around him to uh, help him dispatch his enemies. Um, that's kind of a long ways off. Right now I have some basic menus.